All right, we've now got the CAN utilities set up so that we can run a controller area network on our Kali Linux box. This will allow us to practice uh, listening to a car network and then changing things over the car network using the IC simulator, the instrument cluster simulator, and that will allow us to practice safely some real car hacking. So we can listen to signals going on in a car, we can capture those signals, while we do things like turn on the turn signals, lock and unlock the doors, press the accelerator and make it go faster and faster, we can even capture those files. We can capture those packets with all of those control signals going on and then we can replay it on a network later and have the same things happen. So we can turn on the, the uh, turn signals, the blinkers left and right. We can uh, turn on, uh, well, we can do things like lock and unlock the doors even when no one is touching the actual controls. Uh, so let's see how we can simulate that network. We've got our CAN utility set up. Now it's time to install our IC simulator software, our instrument cluster simulator software. Uh, this time we're going to use Git. Git is a terrific open source uh, tool. In fact, we, uh, GitHub is a terrific repository either for working with a team on some software or for setting up open source software to work with the world on. Uh, Zombie Craig or Craig Smith and the team over at Open Garages have set up an open source package called IC Simulator, the instrument cluster simulator. It comes with some really cool programs to let us control a virtual car and show us the dashboard control, the, the instrument cluster on a, a simulated car. It'll give us all the same tools that we need to use on a real car, but we'll get to do it safely right here on a Linux box, even if you don't have access to a car or want to plug in a USB to CAN or CAN to USB controller. So we're gonna use Git this time because uh, apt-get up above there, our apt-get install, libsdl, and canutils, those allowed us to uh, get some advanced packaging toolkit uh, software installations that were already made for Linux. There are times when we want to use software that somebody's just developed either on our team or uh, that's just not uh, set up for an APT, the Advanced Packaging Toolkit installation. And Git is a great way to, uh, to pull down a repo or a rep repository of files that will allow us to install some really cool software. And ICSIM is among the coolest we're going to see. So let's go out to our Kali Linux command prompt. And we are in our root directory. You can make sure of that just by doing a CD enter. And that takes us to root. Next, we're going to use the git command, git git clone. So we're going to clone or make a copy of this entire package of software called ICSIM. And we have to get the entire uh, web address correct here, https colon slash slash github. This is the website you need to go ahead and set up a free account for as well so that you can share software with your friends. If you can use git, you've got a leg up on other students who are coming out or other uh, applicants for a job who are coming out looking for a job in software development. If you can use Git, you know more than most of the graduates coming out these days, and it's a really good thing to know. Zombie Craig is our user for Craig Smith from opengarages.org and the team there. And then ICSIM, capital I C S, and then a little I M dot Git. And if you've gotten that correctly, this should make a copy of ICSIM, and notice it says it's cloning into a folder called ICSIM. So if I ls now, I should see a folder called ICSIM, and I've got one right here. So let's cd into ICSIM, and we can do an ls, and we can see we've already got our controller. Um, this is an executable if I do an ls dash space dash al, you can see we've got a new color here. We've got executable files, not just directories. And notice we have the source code here. Well, we are not going to do a full make yet. I'm going to save that for a bonus lesson because uh, you can actually hack the uh, car hacking software. And that's a pretty cool ex exercise. But it takes a little more work. We can run these controls and the IC simulator just by doing a dot slash and IC sim and dot slash controls. We're going to see how to do that in the next lesson because we're going to set up a virtual CAN network and then we're going to control a virtual car right on our screen. We'll even learn how to capture those packets when we turn on the uh, turn signal, 
or press the accelerator or open, uh, unlock and lock the doors, we'll see how to then play that back and control a car uh, on a safe simulated network here. Or if you're brave and you want to go to Amazon or another online uh, retailer and buy a CAN to USB cord like the one we have, you'll be able to uh, practice things on your real vehicle. So uh, let's go ahead and um, in the next lesson we're going to see how to set up our controller area network so that we'll be able to connect to it with our controls and IC simulator to run a simulated car in Linux.